It has been reported that Google, Mozilla, and Apple are considering collaborating on a new WebKit browser benchmark. This news has garnered a lot of attention from the tech community, as a collaboration between these three major players in the browser market could potentially lead to significant advancements in the field. In this article, we will explore the potential benefits and drawbacks of such a collaboration, as well as the potential impact it could have on the industry as a whole. First, let's take a look at the current state of the browser market. Currently, Google's Chrome browser is the most widely used browser in the world, with a market share of around 70%. Mozilla's Firefox browser is a distant second, with a market share of around 10%. Apple's Safari browser, while popular on macOS and iOS devices, has a relatively small market share on the desktop. One potential benefit of a collaboration between these three companies is the ability to pool their resources and expertise in order to create a more advanced and efficient browser. With the combined knowledge and experience of Google, Mozilla, and Apple, the resulting browser could potentially offer a better user experience and faster performance than any of the individual browsers currently on the market. Another potential benefit is the ability to standardize certain features and technologies across all three browsers. This could make it easier for web developers to create websites and applications that are compatible with all three browsers, reducing the need for developers to create separate versions for each browser. However, there are also potential drawbacks to such a collaboration. One concern is the potential loss of competition in the browser market. With three major players joining forces, there could be less incentive for any of them to innovate and improve their own browsers individually. This could lead to a stagnation of progress in the industry. Another concern is the potential for a monopoly in the browser market. With three major players collaborating on a single browser, it is possible that the resulting product could dominate the market and crowd out smaller competitors. This could lead to less choice for consumers and potentially stifle innovation in the industry. It is also worth considering the potential impact such a collaboration could have on the overall user experience. While the resulting browser may offer improved performance and features, it could also lead to a homogenization of the user experience across all three browsers. This could potentially reduce the ability of each company to differentiate their product and offer unique experiences to their users. Overall, the potential collaboration between Google, Mozilla, and Apple on a new WebKit browser benchmark is an interesting development that could have significant implications for the tech industry. While there are potential benefits to such a collaboration, there are also potential drawbacks that should be carefully considered before any final decisions are made. If you liked this video please like, share, and subscribe.